I'm in uh, the Los Angeles area right now to visit the Reagan Museum because there's a Carrie Fisher exhibit that it's been there for a while but Todd and Cap Fisher who were friends of Jordan's and now they're friends of mine are having a private reception for the uh, the Carrie Fisher exhibit and Troy and I are going to that but on my way there I'm going to stop in Topanga Canyon and I'm going to I'm going to show you my little walk down to the Manson Cave. Everyone uh, wants to do that. Well, <laughs> everyone that you know likes the kind of stuff I like, and uh, I've never, you know, sort of shown the whole walk down there. And you can see if you could do it yourself, you have to be the judge of it because of the uh, because there's a, you know there's a element of agility that you need to get down to it it is so not treacherous and if you're uh, you know if you hike regularly or even if you walk regularly you'll be fine but there's one point where it's a little bit awkward you'll see what i mean but this is something you could do legally you don't need you're not going to be trespassing to see the cave at the man it's, it's all public property so you know if you want to see it yourself you can when uh, we made our documentary the six degrees of health or skelter my friend nikki medlin went and did all this legwork and found it and crazy like hiking down up and down hills and stuff like that and it turns out it's now we know but back then you know when i was like 15 years ago or so uh, we didn't know that it was easy to get to and that it was legal to get to it's beautiful out here I love the desert landscape now back in 1969 this was considerably you know it was more desolate there wasn't this kind of traffic there were you know, real estate developments everywhere. It was the desert and pretty desolate. And there were a lot of those types of, you know, quote, movie ranches around, several, where you, you know, they did horseback riding to, to uh, supplement their income. Look at, the, look at these rock formations, they're incredible. So as I said, you could do this if you want to. It's really easy to do, and I'll show you. But this is it. This would be the road that you know, that everyone used to go to the Spawn Ranch. Everyone. Dune buggies, people on foot, movie stars, ranchers, stunt people. And a lot of people think you had to hike way into the, you know, you go up to the left. This is where the ranch was, up to the left, that you had to go deep into it. Now, Spawn Ranch was literally right off the road, right off the road. Here on the left is where they found Shorty's body down below. I think I'll try to do that on the way back, show you. But again, I'm gonna show you how you could do this legally. The first thing I'm gonna show you, not as legal, but as long as you're respectful, I don't see there being a problem. See, there, there's a church up here called Church of the Rocky Peak. Church at. And see, Santa Susana Pass State Historic Park. The Spawn Ranch is on in. The famous cave is in the Santa Susana State Park. So it's government property. It's our property to enjoy so Iverson Road is where you want to go 
And this is a place where you can actually park here legally. Now, first off, I'm gonna go up here because I wanna show you something. And it is technically, uh, you know, trespassing, but we're trespassing into a parking lot and it's not a big deal. And if they tell us to leave, well, we leave. But never, ever had an issue, ever. See, there's a famous picture of the Spawn Ranch that I've always seen, and I've never been able to match it up perfectly because it's not, just the level was off, you know? I couldn't get to the, to the level where it looked right, where it looked correct. And that picture was taken from about this angle. So this is San Isidro Pass Road, and the Spawn Ranch was literally right off the road. All this was George Spawn's. And the famous cave that we're going to go down to see in a moment is down below. Down that way. So as I say, when you park legally on this street, you walk to San Susana Pass Road and hang a left. When you are crossing this street, clearly you have to be you have to be pretty cautious. Iverson Road. You can make a day of this, seriously. Let's cross over. Because there's a place up here called the Garden of the Gods, which Michael Channel showed me, which is an awesome, awesome landmark. But um, that's another time. It's a pretty famous destination amongst people like us. So after you make that left onto Santa Susana Pass Road, you walk to where the guardrail is. This is my, I got a walking stick with me just so it looks like I'm hiking, which I'm doing. It's hiking. So these are all remnants of the day. Stuff that exists to show you that it existed. So you go past that guardrail, hang a loop like a U-turn to the right. Now, as I mentioned, there's one point that's a little bit... Oh, there's also a thing about snakes here, too. I've never seen one. I've seen a lot of poison oak, but I've never seen snakes. Lots of lizards. Oh. Hello. Pardon me. Sorry. I haven't seen any snakes on this trail. But 
But this is the tricky part. This is the part that's really yucky. And I don't think I can do this with the camera. So I'm going to turn this off. Actually, I'm just going to put this in my pocket so you can hear me struggling. <laughs> If I go flying on my ass, you'll probably find that very funny. It's not that far of a downhill. Uh, it's only about 15, 20 feet that it's steep, but there's no traction. So if you come out here, make sure you have shoes. They have traction. Okay, so see, it's right up there. And I made it. And I'm down here. There's another little spot but just know that this is such a public area that you will especially on a weekend you'll find people here harmless but a lot of people do come here because it's like it's like a pilgrimage and well thought out trail very yeah that's a marker that wasn't here last time I was here Yeah, this is the second treacherous bit. And again, saying treacherous sounds like an exaggeration, but if you don't have treads on your shoes, you could get hurt. You'd get hurt anyway. Last time I was here, the water was pretty high. Now it's stagnant, which means we are going to be attacked by mosquitoes soon. But those of you who've never been to the cave, there it is. What's known as the Manson Cave is right there. So that famous photograph was taken right there. It was taken from where someone is standing here, but all those people were underneath that rock. And what's known as the Manson Rock has become still a social area for people who come down here to play music. A gathering every so often. And that area 
where Manson used to play music. It's still here. This is it. And this was uh, what was known as the Manson Rock. That Charlie's, his name was carved into it. And I understand the church where I just was had uh, removed it. But it's still a landmark. It's still here. So, you know, they picked a cool place to hang out. That's for sure. I remember they made a um, like a soft core movie back here called Ramrodders. I think Bobby Bosley and Gypsy show up in it. And these trees are identifiable in the movie. I think it was a hammock or something like that. I'm getting eaten alive by these mosquitoes, so I'm going to head out. But I hope you enjoyed this little trip down to the famous Manson Cave, and they call it the Manson Rock. The longer I wait, the more I get eaten up. So as you can see, it's not a difficult hike. You have to commit to it. I recommend probably insect repellent, certainly shoes with traction. Jeans wouldn't be a bad idea. Fetid boy. There's a like a sewage pipe or something down there. With graffiti on it. Can't stay, can't stay.
Yeah, there used to be. It's still there, I see. I think somebody wrote spawn. Alright, back in the pocket. That was easy. Coming up is easier. Coming up was easier. So that's the way we came in. I figured let's walk for a little bit this way. See if you can see anything. That's just a ledge. There is a point where it becomes private property and it's well marked. Maybe what I'll do now is just insert some images that I've taken before the different times I've been here. And you know, when Spawn burned, the whole area burned in 1970. Instead, you know, they didn't, dump trucks didn't take it away. They just plowed it right into the riverbed. There's a remnant. Oh, it's probably actually, there was another fire back in the early 2000s. It's probably from there. But yeah, they just took bulldozers and, and bulldozed everything into a river. So if you are so inclined, want to risk tetanus, I'm getting bit by God knows what. Uh, you could poke around and find stuff, and we have in the past. Found a light switch. Found some sort of, I don't know, <laughs> things that I don't recognize. A lot of glass, some pieces of pottery. This is all legal. You can do this if you want to. It's pretty. I've done this dozens of times, and I do love doing it. But just remember, as far as you go, you have to go back to get out. But this was all surface. This was all, I mean, spawn. This was, you know, we're on our way to where the ranch was. Right off the road. So. There's lots of little wildlife out here. Lots of little holes, lots of little skeletons. Lots of dung.
yeah, I think this is as far as I'm going to go because I got to head back. There's even like the remains of a vehicle out here, like in this in this side, because this, this whole side is probably made up of remnants from Spawn's Ranch, big old pieces of the roof and walls and pieces of wood. It's all back here. Bring a metal detector; it won't take you long. It's beautiful, it's beautiful out here. Signing off from Topanga Canyon. All right, so I just got back from doing that hike. Got back up to this area because I had to do a quick change for the event at the museum but before i leave before i uh head back and end this video we'll say i will show you what i showed what i said i would earlier on about where they found shorty because shorty shape you know was eradicated from the spawn ranch and buried there was all sorts of rumors about you know he was buried in 10 pieces or you know that sort of thing but now we know from his autopsy report that he was buried intact, died of head wounds, like hatchet wounds to his head. And the only thing that was missing was a hand. And that was probably because of uh, an animal. Because he'd been there since 1969. His body wasn't found until 1977. So it's, it's actually kind of miraculous that that much of it was intact. But I'll show you approximately where Shorty's body was found. It's a pretty area too, a very, very pretty uh, location. If you're gonna be murdered by a bunch of maniacs, this is where you'd want it to happen. So, according to the documents, his body was found buried down here. Maybe, I don't I forget how many, is it 200 feet possibly or something? Quite a distance. And where we were is about, I don't know, about a mile or so down that, down that road. You can see there's a train track there that goes into a tunnel just over there. It's really something when a train goes by.